What's up? James Mitchell here, and you guys are here to learn this. All right, guys, let's get to it. So you're going to click on your clip here and go up to editing tab. And we're actually going to drop down the opacity menu here. We're going to draw a mask. So we're going to click on free draw bezier. Come over to our clip and we're going to click on the left side of the screen near the edge. One in the middle and towards the top. One on the right side of the edge. Try to match it up with the left one. One on the bottom. Try to match it up with the top one here and then back at connecting it. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create this mask around our clip here. So with this mask, we're then going to come to these two points here. We're gonna hold Alt and we're gonna click the point and we're going to hold Alt and click this point. Now we're gonna have to zoom in here, I believe, to be able to see this, but what that does is it gave us these two little prongs here which allow us to affect the curve of our clip. So I'm just gonna move them out so it's easier to, uh, to apply them. And then this guy, move that one out, move this one out, all right. So now we have these two prongs. So what we can do is say we move this down a little bit. We can really drag this out to make it, to give it the eye shape, you know. Drag this one, we can maybe move this one up a little bit. Drag it out, drag it out. So you're kind of getting that eye shape feature here. So then what you can do is we can come over to the mask feather and we can bump this up to maybe around 50 or so. And it's gonna kind of blur the line so it's not so harsh here. So it kind of almost makes it look like it's, uh, like you're opening your eyes, you're just waking up. So the next thing we can do is go to the beginning of our clip and we can animate this path. So we're gonna click on the animation toggle and we're gonna come back to our mask path and we're going to make sure it's closed here. Come down and close this sucker. So as you can see, this one's kind of maybe far up so you can maybe bring, well, if I can click on it here, bring this down a little bit bam and then let's say we go over a few frames and then we want to bring this now open like we're opening our eyes here bam so if I were to render this this is what it would look like bam now, to make it a little bit more realistic, what you can do is you can come over and you can search blur. And let's apply, let's play a Gaussian blur to our clip here. So then what we're gonna do is we will animate the Gaussian blur. So we'll click on the blurriness and let's bump it up to, I don't know, 25 here. So then as our eye opens, the clip behind it looks blurry too, you know, like we're just waking up. It's really bright out and then you can animate it to where let's say at towards the end of the clip it goes to zero so it's gonna become blur or it's gonna be blurry to unblurry and that looks like this so guys I hope that tutorial helped um, please play around with some of the settings. You can obviously make the eye bigger, smaller. You can add some more blur, whatever you feel like doing. If you like that tutorial, hit the like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.